Hi there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this next tutorial, I will teach you how to prepare for an interview. So if you have a job interview coming up soon for any role or company, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you be the standout candidate. And just very quickly, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because then I can help you pass every job interview you ever attend. And please give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. So to help you prepare for your interview, I will cover the following four things during this tutorial. Number one, I will tell you the four areas you must focus on when preparing for your job interview. Now, if you prepare fully in these four areas, your chances of success will literally skyrocket. Number two, I will then explain how you can quickly research a company in less than five minutes before your interview. Now, it is imperative you carry out this research because if you don't, you won't get hired. Number three, I will then tell you how you can quickly overcome interview nerves in three easy to follow steps. And let's face it, virtually everyone gets nervous before their interview, but those nerves can really prevent you from performing to the best of your ability. And then number four, I will tell you which interview questions you really must prepare for. And I will also give you some brilliant top scoring answers that are gonna put you ahead of the competition at your forthcoming interview. So let's start off and take a look at those four preparation areas you must focus on when getting ready for your job interview. Preparation area number one is to make sure you read the job description for the role you have applied for. Now you really must read the job description because it will tell you the skills and qualities the employer is looking for. Now if you know the skills and qualities they are looking for, you can talk about these when you are answering the interview questions. What are your strengths? What can you bring to the role? And also, why should we hire you? Preparation area number two is to make sure you research the company before your interview. This is really important. Now, one of the main reasons why people fail interviews is because they don't know enough about the company they are applying to work for. Now that's because most people just want a job and they don't care which company it is with. However, the employer wants to know that you have carried out some research into them because that means you are far more likely to stay working for them for a long period of time. And in the next section of this video, I will tell you how you can quickly research any company in less than five minutes. Preparation area number three is interview technique and body language. Now it's all well and good answering the interview questions correctly, but if your interview technique is poor or if you don't show good manners, you won't get hired. So in respect of interview technique, always remember the following three P's. P number one is posture. Make sure you sit upright in the interview chair and don't slouch. P number two is politeness. Now always be polite during the interview and thank the interviewer for being given the opportunity to be interviewed for the position. Now good manners and respect will help to build a positive first impression. And the third P is positivity. Smile throughout your interview because it really will help to build a good connection with the hiring manager. And don't forget to big up your skills and your strengths. You need to really show the interviewer that you are going to add value to their business in the role. Preparation area number four is to know the interview questions you are going to get asked during your interview. Now, if you know the interview questions, it significantly increases your chances of success. Now, there is a bank of interview questions all hiring managers and employers use during interviews to assess a candidate's suitability for a role. And later on during this tutorial, I will tell you what those interview questions are, and I will also 
give you some top scoring answers to help you pass your interview. So let me now explain how you can quickly research a company in less than five minutes before your interview. Now, as I already mentioned, if you don't research the company before your interview, you will not get hired. Now, during your interview, the hiring manager will say to you, why do you want to work for us? Or what do you know about our company? Now, you can only answer these interview questions if you have done some research. So here's how to easily research any company in three simple steps. Step number one, take a look at their About Us page on their website. Find out about their history and their company mission. Step number two, look at their products and services online and make sure you know what they do what they sell and what services they offer. And step number three, make sure you follow them on social media and take a note of their latest news stories. So if you do all of those three things when researching a company, it gives you lots of positive things to talk about when answering the interview questions, what do you know about our company and also why do you want to work for us? So let me now tell you how to quickly overcome interview nerves. Now being nervous during your job interview is normal. Everyone gets nervous because they really want the job and they don't want to make a fool of themselves. However, to overcome interview nerves, always remember these three important tips. Tip number one, start treating the interview as a meeting. Now the word interview puts fear into people. However, an interview is simply a meeting between you and a potential employer to find out whether you are a good fit for the role and also whether you want to work for that company. Now, if you treat the interview as a meeting, it helps to significantly reduce interview nerves. Tip number two is to put things into perspective. Now, yes, I know you really want this job and I know you don't want to fail. However, if you don't get hired at this interview, it really doesn't matter because there will be other opportunities for you just around the corner. Learn to put things into perspective because this will really help to calm your nerves. And tip number three is to make sure you practice a mock interview before the real thing. Now this tip is extremely powerful for overcoming interview nerves and anxiety. Now all you need to do is either sit down in front of a friend or relative or even sit down in front of a mirror and practice answering the interview questions I'm going to give you in the next section of this tutorial. Now, if you know what you are going to say in response to the interview questions, it really helps to boost confidence levels and also reduce interview nerves. So let me now tell you the interview questions I strongly recommend you prepare for before you attend your job interview. Interview question number one is, tell me about yourself. Now, my advice is to make sure you have your response ready and already prepared for the tell me about yourself interview question. Because if you have your answer already prepared and practiced, it helps you get your interview off to a flying start. Let me give you my top scoring example answer. Tell me about yourself, here we go. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this position today. I read the job description before applying for the role and I am confident I have the skills and knowledge needed to perform to a high standard. I am a diligent and disciplined worker who understands the importance of teamwork and the need to act as a positive role model for your company. I am someone who takes pride in my work and I already have a track record of achievement. For example, in my last role, I came up with innovative ways to help the company increase sales by using new online marketing methods. I am a fast learner, reliable, trustworthy and loyal. If you hire me, I will take ownership of difficult challenges and I will always embrace change positively so your business maintains its position as a market leader. Interview question number two is, why do you want to work for us? Now this interview question is guaranteed to come up during your job interview. That is why I say it is so important that you show the interviewer you have researched their company. Here's a great example answer to help you. Why do you want to work for us? Here we go. I want to work for you because having researched your company prior to the interview, I believe your workplace values and the high standards you set are a match for my own. You are forward thinking and innovative 
and you clearly create products and services that your customers love. This is important to me because I want to work somewhere where I will be able to work on exciting tasks and projects and where I will get to collaborate with other like-minded people who all have a common goal. Interview question number three is, why do you want to leave your job? Again, this is going to come up during your forthcoming interview. Now, when answering this very difficult interview question, do not be negative about your boss or work colleagues. Don't say you want to leave because the work environment was toxic and don't say you were bored in your work. Make sure you keep your answer positive and short. Here's my example answer to help you. Why do you want to leave your job? Here we go. My employer has been great to work for and we have achieved many productive things whilst I've been working there. However, I want to now leave because I am ready for a fresh challenge with a new and exciting company where my skills, expertise and knowledge will be put to good use in a role that I am very passionate about. I am looking for long-term employment with the same organisation and you are the only company I am interested in working for. Interview question number four is what are your strengths? Now this question is again guaranteed to come up during your job interview. And as I mentioned at the start of this tutorial, it is really important to download a copy of the job description and align your strengths to those listed in it. Now here's a ready-made example answer to this difficult interview question that is guaranteed to impress the hiring manager. What are your strengths? Here we go. My strengths include my ability to learn new things quickly and complete all tasks as per the required brief. I am commercially aware, which means I understand my responsibilities in this role will be to help your business grow, to help you beat your competitors and to help you save money. Another one of my strengths is the fact that I am a good collaborator. I am great with people. I always put the needs of a team first and I will always take on duties that are outside of the job description. Interview question number five is what's your biggest weakness? Now, of course, the opposite to the interview question, what are your strengths, is what's your biggest weakness? This is perhaps the hardest interview question to answer correctly. Lots of people fail when answering this question. Make sure you do actually give a weakness, but don't give one that is a requirement of the role you have applied for. Here's a brilliant top scoring answer to help you pass your interview. What's your biggest weakness? Here we go. My biggest weakness is the fact I find it really hard saying no to people. I tend to say yes to everything and I end up taking on too many responsibilities. Now, whilst I never let people down, I do need to learn to be more mindful in situations like this and assess my workload before agreeing to everything. Interview question number six is, where do you see yourself in five years time? Now, this is another guaranteed interview question that really must be answered carefully. If you say that you plan to be working somewhere else in five years time, you won't get hired. Here's a great example response. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Here we go. I see myself hopefully still working for you either in this role or having gained advancement to a more senior level. In five years time, I would have undertaken several internal training courses to further enhance my skills, be seen as a trusted and reliable member of the team and someone who can be relied upon to help train up newer members of staff as and when they join the company. So very soon, I will tell you some more interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. However, another great way to prepare fully for your job interview is to make sure you have some questions of your own ready to ask at the end of your job interview. So once the interviewer has finished asking you his or her questions, they will say to you, that's the end of the interview, do you have any questions for us? Now, my advice is to ask three smart questions that are designed to impress the interviewer and show them that you are gonna be someone who really can add value in the role. Let me tell you three smart questions to ask at the end of your interview. Question number one is, what's the one thing I could do in this role to help your business succeed? That's a really smart question to ask because it shows the interviewer you have really good intentions and you want their company to be successful. Question number two is, how has the company evolved over the years? That's a great question because it shows you have a keen interest in how the company has progressed. And question number three is, 
What are the plans for the company over the next five to 10 years? That's a great question because it tells the interviewer you want to stay working for them for a long period of time. So before I give you some more interview questions that you really must prepare for, if you want to download all the answers to the questions I've given you today and more top scoring responses that are gonna put you ahead of the competition at your interview, click that link in the top right hand corner of the video when you're ready and you can download my full set of 50 top scoring answers to brilliant interview questions, including the ones I've given you today. So here's some more interview questions that you really need to prepare for. Question number one, why should we hire you? Now this interview question is your chance to sell yourself and stand out from the competition. Question number two, how would you deal with conflict with a coworker? Now when you answer this difficult interview question, tell the interviewer you would always try to resolve the conflict yourself as a mature and professional employee. Tell them you would always put the needs of the team first and you won't include your manager unless absolutely necessary. Interview question number three is, tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team. Now again, I believe this interview question will come up during your forthcoming interview. Now this is called a behavioral interview question that requires you to give a specific situation you have previously been in. Now when you answer this and other behavioral interview questions, make sure you use the STAR technique to structure your answer. STAR stands for situation, task, action and result. And if you want to watch a tutorial on how to answer difficult behavioral interview questions, click the link at the top of this video when you're ready. And other interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for include, describe yourself in three words. Wow, that's a really difficult one. What's your ideal work environment? Tell me about a time when you made a mistake. How do you handle stress and pressure? And also, another really difficult one, tell me about a time when you disagreed with your boss. How do you answer that question? Well, if you want to know how to answer that question and all the other ones that I've covered today during this tutorial, make sure you click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video, head through to my website, passmeinterview.com, and you can download my 50 brilliant answers to tough interview questions. It's a fantastic resource. You can have it within your inbox, literally within two minutes from now, and it's guaranteed to put you ahead of the competition at your forthcoming interview. Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's really important because then I can help you pass every job interview you ever attend and also get the pay rise you deserve and progress throughout your career. Please give the video a like. That motivates me genuinely to create more content for you and also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I wish you all the best for passing your interview. Have a great day.